Helen Jameson, editor, Satellite Evolution Group. Are DVBS2 extensions really necessary in Asia at this time? Thank you for the question. It's indeed a very interesting question. Yes, I can say uh, we need uh, the DVBS2 extension here in Asia. Uh, so as you know, our DVBS2 extension provides a higher efficiency. So we have more bits per hertz. Uh, we have more content or lower cost, uh, lower OPEX uh, for uh, transmission on the satellite. You know here in Asia we have limited capacity in satellite and uh, particularly on the C-band uh, we uh, would need this uh, standard uh, to provide more content to our customer. So uh, when I can share with you uh, our latest uh, press release on, uh, with, together with Speedcast where we provide the IP trunking uh, solution so thanks to the DVBS2 extension standard where we apply it already, uh, we can provide them a much better service, a higher throughput. Second, uh, you know in Asia the DVBS2 extension can also be used as a primary distribution for the um, DVBT2 uh, uh, introduction. So where we use uh, this standard uh, for providing the antennas or the head ends uh, uh, with uh, the content. So and to use the satellite more efficient, the limited space segment we have, the DV2 extension definitely helps to provide all these content to the consumer. So finally, I want also to mention um, the DVBT uh, DV. S2 extension standard would help uh, for the um, newcomers uh, who want to introduce uh, HEVC. Uh, HEVC uh, not only used uh, for the 4K or the Ultra HD TV, but also already on uh, the HD or SD technology to uh, uh, provide uh, a better coding. Uh, so on this one, uh, when um, uh, DTH uh, uh, operator wants to introduce his new chipset, introduce a new setup boxes. Here is the right moment also to apply the DVB2 extension standard. So, what does it mean? More channels, uh, more HD, or more 4K for our consumers. So, and once more here in Asia, we lose, we use a lot of uh, C band, uh, mainly due to the strong um, uh, rain fade. So C-band is limited, so again we have a limit in capacity and here definitely the DVB-T S2 extension standard will help. I hope I could answer your question. Thank you very much.